annual DOT rodeo. For those of you who do not know, I'm Bill Anderson, the Deputy Director of the Department of Transportation, standing in for Mr. Robert Polk, who had, unfortunately, had to leave earlier. I'd like to thank each and every one of you who are participating today. I'd like to thank the spectators who we are proud could come out and witness this first event. When I say the first event, it's the first of several that we intend to put on over the years. This is possibly a dress rehearsal for next year's international rodeo that is going to be put on by the American Public Transportation Association when they have their first convention here in Detroit. That will be in October. At that point in time, we will be hosting the International Rodeo. So I'm sure that uh, our fine operators here are going to represent us well after having had this dress rehearsal this year. Mr. Jim Fryer, who is coming forth shortly to uh, inform you as to the awards that are to be made We'll let you know how worthwhile it is for our operators to participate. I'd also like to thank the management of the General Motors Corporation. A couple of people in particular. Today that they were volunteers, but uh, Mr. Jim Fryer, whose efforts you see out here in front of you. A big hand for Jim Fryer. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to welcome everybody that came out and took time out to witness this because, uh, as Bill said, this is our first experience in putting on a DOT bus rodeo. We hope this is the first of many. <coughs> and today's competition is what, which will be the first of what we hope will be an annual event designed to test and measure a bus driver's skills behind the wheel, knowledge, safety regulations, and knowledge of bus equipment. As I said, today we have 37 drivers that are participating. First prize is a $200 savings bond plus an all-expense trip, paid trip to Los Angeles, California to participate in the International Bus Rodeo, which will be held October 8th and he will be representing DOT in Los Angeles, California. Last year at the International Rodeo, which was held, I think, in Denver, there were some 72 participants from all over the country, Canada included. This year, they're expecting more, so we may have somewhere in the neighborhood of 90 to 100 participants. Each year, it gets larger. This, is, this one they're holding in Los Angeles this year is the 10th annual International Bus Rodeo. Next year, Detroit will be hosting the International Bus Rodeo, and that will be the 11th annual bus rodeo. Second prize winner will receive a $100 U.S. savings bond. The third prize winner will receive a $50 U.S. savings bond. Approximately around September the 21st, we will have an employee's award banquet which at that time the drivers will receive their awards that they will win. And we have a perpetual trophy that will go to the first prize winner for whatever garage he represents, and this trophy will remain at that garage until some other driver is able to win it and send it over to his garage. And we'll have second and third place trophies, which will also remain at the terminals. We will give the first, second, and third place winners plaques to take home that they can hang on the walls. Some of the requirements that the driver had to meet were as follows. He must have been certified with DOT since July 1, 1984, not including a training period. He must have worked as full time as a bus driver from July 1, 1984 to June 30, 1985. He must not have had more than six occurrences of absenteeism, including misses, which is late, nor more than 15 cumulative days of unscheduled absence from July 1, 1984 
to June 30th, 1985. It, he must not have been suspended as a disciplinary action from July 1, 1984 through June 30th, 1984. He also must not have had an avoidable accident from July 1, 1984 to June 30th, 1985. So you see, he must be sharp in order to participate in this, so you have to drive carefully, because this is what this is all about, practicing safety. Each driver that's participating will be allocated seven minutes to go through these 11 tests that he must maneuver with this bus. And as you can see, some of that been out here earlier, it's a tough course. And it's, they're at a disadvantage because this is the first time they ever participate and you weren't allowed to practice. So it was kind of rough. But this is a stepping stone for next year. This is a warm up. We are using 40 foot GMC 5300 series buses this year. Next year, the course will be set up for the newer RTS buses, so that will make a difference. The course will be a little bit different because due to the wheelbase of a <laughs> due to the wheelbase of an RTS. <laughs>
Oh. 